Good evening and welcome to our evening of special awards from the Board of Education. We'd like to open our ceremony with the Pledge of Allegiance. We have Olivia Crowley here who is in grade five at Center Road School and she will lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Olivia. Good evening, my name is Mary Conway. I'm the superintendent of schools in Vernon and I welcome you here this evening on behalf of the Board of Education. Before I introduce each board member, uh, I'd like to remind you that they are volunteers. There are nine people who give lots and lots of their time uh, because they believe in the children of Vernon and because they do such hard work for the children of Vernon. Their rewards are few, only when they see our children excel and achieve, graduate, go on to college and come back as one of our our students did this evening who they were speaking with a few moments ago. So this is a night that um, truly the board enjoys. They don't get to do this too often. Two awards ceremonies, graduation, evening of excellence at the middle school. Um, there aren't many of those truly, truly rewarding evenings and this is, uh, is one of them. So I would like to uh, introduce our Board of Education. Uh, with us here this evening we have Mrs. Ann Fisher, the chair. Mr. Dean Houle, Vice Chair. Mrs. Laura Bush, Secretary. And Mr. Mark Kalina, Treasurer. Ms. Michelle Arn. Mr. Stephen Linton. Mrs. Thomasina Russell. We also have as members Mr. David Kemp and Mr. Paul Stansel who were unable to be with us here this evening and I'm sure they, they wish that they uh, were here. Uh, we'd like to begin our award ceremony uh, with the CABE Student Leadership Awards. CABE is the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education. I'm going to ask our chair, Mrs. Fisher, to assist us in giving these awards out. So this is award is presented each year by the Connecticut Association of Boards of Education to one male and one female uh, student in grades 12 and in grade 8. Um, it is based on leadership skills, including the willingness to take on challenges, the capability to make difficult decisions, concern for others, the ability to work with others, willingness to commit to a project, diplomacy, the ability to understand issues clearly, and the ability to honor a commitment. Those are all skills we wish every Vernon, would have, a Vernon child would have when they graduate from Rockville High School. I'm going to ask um, the student and their parents if they would come up, please, for this particular award. We're not going to ask parents to come up for every award, but if the student and their parents are here. And I would also like to say that there is a uh, Triple C track meet. Um, today, there's a softball game at 5 o'clock for a senior night at another school, so uh, I do know that we have many of our high school students who were unable to attend uh, this evening, so we certainly forgive them. Uh, would Alicia Dillman and Spencer Paget please come forward with their parents? I'll tell you a little bit about Alicia. She's a well-rounded and respected leader of the class of 2015. Her talents have served, she has served as stage manager for various Rockville High School productions. She's a member of the Student Council as vice uh, president and as a representative. She offers creative input to the Literary Arts magazine. She serves as a greater community organizer of our poetry slams and readings at Young at Arts in Manchester, Connecticut. She's recognized by her teachers with, for her exceptionality in the classroom. She also holds the Connecticut Colt Award, Excellence for uh, Excellence in World Languages, Excellence in Foods Award, Photography 1 and 2 Award. She's a member of the Link Crew, which welcomes our 8th graders coming into ninth graders and any new students we have. 
Alicia will continue her studies at the Culinary Institute of America in New York this fall, and we congratulate her on her Student Leadership Award from Cape. Thank you. Would Samantha Peters and Joseph DeRosa please come forward with their parents? Samantha and Joseph are in the eighth grade, and so you can imagine having developed the skills that I mentioned earlier at such a young age is, is quite a, a, uh, an honor to their parents uh, and their teachers, and we congratulate them. Samantha Peters is a very mature and bright eighth grade student. She's shown general, genuine concern for others and often seeks out help from trusted adults if she's worried about a classmate. She gives all students and staff the same respect, and in turn has earned the respect of all her peers and teachers. She's an excellent student and recently displayed her academic prowess by winning the 2015 DCMS Math Bay. Very good, math's my favorite subject. She is dependable and is extremely helpful to other students. Samantha doesn't think twice about helping anyone with anything. She is a model student for her peers. Congratulations, Samantha. Joseph Rosa is a very bright and hard-working eighth grade student. He challenges himself every day to be the best student he can be. Whether he is attempting to excel at a game of Jeopardy in social studies, or helping his peers focus on a difficult task during class, Joe wants to do his absolute best. He takes a leadership position when working in class and always tries to be a positive contributor to the class discussion and be a positive role model. He is open and eager to working with all students, whether they are friends or not. He is a great leader at Vernon Center Middle School. Congratulations, Joe. <laughs> the Connecticut Association of Schools Connecticut Interscholastic Athletic Association Conference Scholar Athlete Award is given to one male and one female scholar athlete from each high school in Connecticut. The scholar athlete must possess a cumulative average of no less than 3.5 out of a four-point scale and must have participated in a varsity sport in Connecticut for at least two years. Each scholar athlete must also exhibit outstanding school and community service as well as possess high levels of integrity, self-discipline, and courage with personal standards which serve as a model to others. Would Haley Hasty and Brett Montminy come forward, please. I do know that Haley is at a triple C meet. I'm assuming that Brett is also involved in his sport at this point. The Governor's Scholar Award, would Kylie Carney please come forward with her parents? The Governor's Scholar Award recognizes academically talented high school students throughout the state. All principals of Connecticut Association of Schools members high schools are given the opportunity to nominate one junior who ranks in the top 5% of his or her class. Members of the committee judge the completed applications on grade point averages, PSAT or SAT scores, CAPT scores, rank in class, and a student essay. The 30 students with the highest scores are selected as Governor's Scholars. Kylie Carney in grade 11 is the semifinalist. Congratulations, Kylie. These are the Fine Arts Student Recognitions, the Connecticut Association of Schools Arts Awards. In grade 12, Tatiana Domofsky for Performing Arts, and in grade 12, Julianne Calopy for Visual Arts. Please come forward. Thank you. Congratulations. The Connecticut Scholastic Arts Awards for Rockville High School. Would the following students come forward, please? Brett Davis, Samantha Westwood, Julianne Colopy, don't go far, Jaylene Negron, Deanna Pellegrino, Alicia Dillman, and Natalie Possum. Samantha Westwood is in grade 11. She received honorable mention for photography. Julianne Colopy in grade 12, gold key and three honorable mentions in painting. Janeline Negron, 11th grade, an honorable mention in photography. Deanna Pellegrino, grade 12, an honorable mention in photography. 
Alicia Dillman, grade 12, a gold key in art portfolio. And Natalie Possum, grade 11, a silver key in photography. Congratulations. Kylie Percy and Samantha Peters, please come forward. The Connecticut Scholastic Art Awards for the middle school, given to our Vernon Center Middle School. Kylie Percy in grade 8, an honorable mention in art. Samantha Peters in grade 8, a gold key and best in show ceramics in art. Congratulations. The Connecticut Association of Schools also offers art awards to our children in grade 5. And so do we do have two children in each of our schools uh, to receive awards uh, in grade 5 for visual and performing arts. I'm going to ask the liaison to each school uh, to come forward for, from our Board of Education. Many people don't realize this, but in addition to going to Board of Education meetings and committee meetings and budget meetings and all kinds of other responsibilities, our board volunteers to be a liaison to each of our seven schools. And so each board member chooses a school and they can attend functions there and uh, PTO meetings perhaps, school governance team meetings, and become a part of that school community. We're going to start with Center Road School, and Mrs. Fisher is the liaison to Center Road School. Would Caitlin Carangelo and Mi Kim Lei Huen please come forward. Caitlin Carangelo is in grade five, and she's received the award for visual arts. Mi Ki Lei Huen is also in grade five, and she has received the award for performing arts. And Mr. Hula? Would Giovanna Calabrese and Hannah Berg please come forward? Giovanni Calabrese is in grade five at Lake Street School, and he has received the award for visual arts. Congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Kalina? Damian Schaus and Rebecca Roman, please come forward. Is Damian Schaus here? Rebecca Roman is in grade five at Maple Street School. She's receiving the award for performing arts. Would Razia Chaudhry and Caitlin Archambault please come forward? Razia Chaudhry is in grade five at Northeast School and she's receiving the award for visual arts. <laughs> Caitlin Archambault is in grade five at Northeast receiving the award for performing arts. <laughs> Ms. Arn, help us again. Sorry, sorry, is on to Skinner Road School. Would Jonathan Geyer and Anaya Sewell please come forward? Jonathan Geyer is in grade five at Skinner Road School, receiving the award for visual arts. <laughs> Anaya Sewell is in grade five, receiving the award for performing arts. <laughs> Mr. Linton. Following students come forward, please. Sarah Linton, Jamie Bailey, Logan Blaisdell, Aaron Brownell, Sierra Buckley, Tatiana Domofsky, Lauren Honan, Avery Kinney, Alexandra Ose, Hannah Ramsdell, and Renee Rogan. These students auditioned and competed in the Eastern Region Music Festival 2015, and they are being honored uh, for their what, the instrument, whether they sang or they played. Uh, Sarah Linton is grade 11, and she played the clarinet. Jamie Bailey, grade 10, soprano. <laughs> 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 
Logan Blaisdell, grade 12, bass. Erin Brownell, grade 12, soprano. Sierra Buckley, grade 11, alto. Tatiana Domofsky, grade 12, soprano. Lauren Honan, grade 10, soprano. Avery Kinney, grade 12, soprano. Alexandra Ose, grade 10, alto. Hannah Ramsdell, grade 10, alto. Renee Rogan, grade 11, alto. Congratulations, students. The following students come forward, please. Sierra Dixon, Jerome Jacobs, Chloe Shep. This is also the Eastern Region Music Festival for the Middle School, Vernon Center Middle School, 2015 award winners. And they also have to audition uh, to get in. It's, it's a very rigorous process. Sierra Dixon in grade eight for chorus. <laughs> Jerome Jacobs, grade eight band. <laughs> Chloe Chef, grade eight band. Congratulations. Once you are through the Eastern Regions, there's All State Band uh, Festival. Would the following students come forward, please? Sierra Buckley, Tatiana Domofsky, Renee Rogan, and Erin Brennell. Sierra Buckley, grade 11, alto. <laughs> Tatiana Domofsky, grade 12, soprano. <laughs> Renee Rogan, grade 11, alto. Aaron Brownell, grade 12, soprano. Congratulations. Mrs. Bush? Would the following students please come forward? Jake Sishan, Joyce Hida, Ashley Marconis, Melissa Smith Javik, Chelsea Chatterton, Claudia Duquette. These awards are for World Language. These are the Excellence in French Awards. Jake Sishan, grade 10. <laughs> Joyce Fida, grade 10. <laughs> Ashley Marcus, grade 9. <laughs> Melissa Smadjo, grade 11. <laughs> Chelsea Chatterton, grade 10. Claudia Duquette, grade 9. Congratulations. The following students please come forward. Aaron Chafee, Brooke West, Sophia Lee, Scott Blanchard, Gren Therfelt. We have a program called the GAP program, which is the German American program. And it is a, uh, an opportunity for our students to study, uh, take three weeks and go to Germany one year, and for our students to come here and spend their time with families here. So many of our students have been engaged in that. And we do offer German, uh, one of the few high schools in the state to do so. So these are Excellence in German Awards. Erin Chafee, grade 9. Brooke West, grade 9. Sophia Lee, grade 10. Scott Blanchard, grade 11. And Glenn Thierfeldt, grade 11. Congratulations. Mr. Hull, would you come back, please? Thank you. The following students, please come forward. Lake Hull, Katrina Frazier, Martha Wisniak, Megan Hasty, Haley Hasty, Janeline Negron, Angela, Angel Cruz. Hannah Johnston, Emily Hare, Holly Fisher, Hannah Brown, Shane Turtelot, Urwa Hamid, and Lindsay Tarot. <laughs> These are Excellence in Spanish Awards. Blake Hool is grade 11, Katrina Fraser, grade 12, Martha Wisniak, grade 9, 
Megan Hasty, grade 10, Haley Hasty, grade 12, Janeline Negron, grade 11, Angel Cruz, grade 11, Hannah Johnston, grade 10, Emily Hare, grade 9, Holly Fisher, grade 9, Hannah Brown, grade 9, Shane Turtelot, grade 9, Urwa Hamid, grade 9, and Lindsay Taro, grade 10. Congratulations, students. Naja Royal Hall, Jonalene Negron, and Samantha Morales come forward. We had four students challenge themselves to take the national Spanish exam in April. Three of those students received honorable mention. We're absolutely delighted. Naja Royal Hall, grade 11. Jonalene Negron, grade 11. And Samantha Morales, grade 12. The following awards are given by the Connecticut Council of Language Teachers, COLT. And so it's called the Connecticut COLT Student Award for Excellence. These students must have a 90% average and demonstrate enthusiasm and commitment to the language, not only in the classroom, but outside of the classroom and demonstrate their use of it outside of the classroom. So we have the following students from Vernon Center Middle School receiving a Colt Award. So they would come forward, please. Lynn Mozaleski, uh, Nguyen, Evan Apinas, uh, Taylor Therian, Sierra Dixon, Michael Ansong, Joshua Nicholas, Samantha Peters, Kelly Ruesta. The students who are up here are Lynn Mozaleski in grade 7, Nguyen, uh, Amy Nguyen, grade 7, Evan Apinis, uh, grade 7, Taylor Therian, grade 8, Sierra Dixon, grade 8, Michael Anson, grade 7, Joshua Nicholas, grade 8, Samantha Peters, grade 8, Kelly West at grade 7. Congratulations. The also receiving a Colt Award, Emily Wilson, India Ramos, Muhammad Safdar, Julia Soma, Kylie Percy, Jordan Ransom, Amanda Mueller, Ashley Fisher, Chelsea Koss, Sarah Bernabucci, and Phoebe Chung. And Ms. Arn, would you come back, please? Ms. Arn. Again, these students are Emily Wilson, grade 8, India Ramos, grade 7, Muhammad Safdar, grade 7, Julia Soma, grade 8, Kylie Percy, grade 8, Jordan Ransom, grade 8, Amanda Mueller, grade 7, Ashley Fisher, grade 7, Chelsea Koss, grade 7, Sarah Bernabucci, grade 8, Phoebe Chung, grade 8. Congratulations, students.
following um, students come forward, please. Renee Rogan, Brianna Marconis, uh, Sean Nguyen, Madeline Hearns, Alyssa Del Sandro, Michelle Horlick, Haley Hasty, Cassandra Schombach, Dana Purcell, Vivian Eufongine, Sylvia Derages, and Aaron Chafee. These students are also receiving the Connecticut Council Language Teachers Award for Excellence. We have here before you Renee Rogan, grade 11, Brianna Marcunas, grade 11, Sean Nguyen, grade 9, Madeline Hearns, grade 10, Alyssa D'Alessandro, grade 10, Michelle Harlick, grade 10, Haley Hasty, grade 12, Cassandra Schombeck, grade 12, Dana Purcell, grade 11, Vivian Eufongine, grade 11, Sylvia Darages, grade 11, Aaron Chafee, grade 9. Congratulations, students. Would Lily Ryan and Jared Werner come forward, please? In addition to the Connecticut Council of Language Teachers, the Northeast Conference uh, has, a, has a conference of language teachers as well. These are foreign language awards of excellence. First, to a student of the French language and Francophone cultures in recognition for her outstanding achievement at Vernon Center Middle School is Lily Ryan, grade eight. Congratulations. <laughs> The second award is for a student of the Spanish language and Hispanic cultures for his outstanding achievement at Vernon Center Middle School, and it's Jared Warner, grade 8. Congratulations. Mrs. Russell, would you please help us out? Thank you. Uh, Mrs. Dorland? Mrs. Dorland. Our creative writing department at Rockville High School is the envy of every other department in the state of Connecticut. Um, you'll hear in a few moments why that is the case. Um, but we certainly do credit um, Ms. Vicki Nordland, who is our creative writing teacher. Uh, <laughs> Students come forward, please. Ashley Adams, Whitney Ajaman, Elise Barnard, Stephen Blaniars, Joseph Schuyler Bow, Nick Bartos, Nicholas Bartos, excuse me, Madison Beach, Michaela Bracefield, Sierra Buckley, Caitlin Carr, Woo! Mallory Chabrin, and Avery Christensen. these stu students are receiving and uh, they're they're quite numerous uh, in, in number there are many Ashley Adams in grade 12 the scholastic art and writing awards two gold keys a silver key honorable mention for writing portfolio and poetry Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, two silver keys, two honorable mentions for poetry, and Ms. Norland, do the students know about this other envelope that's coming forward? Um, we have some of our students who have received a portfolio award for creative writing. It's the Independent Writing Award, and they have received this award. So this is the first time they're hearing about this. Whitney Adjaman also receives the Portfolio Award for Independent Writing.
Elise Barnard from grade 12, the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, honorable mention for short story. <laughs> Stephen Blaniers, grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, honorable mention for poetry and short story. <laughs> Joseph Schuyler Bow, grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, honorable mention for poetry. Nicholas Bartos, Grade 12, Poetry Out Loud Video Award and a Portfolio Award for Creative Writing in the Independent <laughs> Writing Program. <laughs> Madison Beach, Grade 11, the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Gold Key Poetry. Connecticut Student Writer, Honorable Mention for Short Story. Kayla Bracefield, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key, Honorable Mention for Poetry and Personal Essay. <laughs> Sierra Buckley, Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, two Honorable Mentions for Poetry, Connecticut Student Writer, Honorable Mention for Poetry. Caitlin Carr, Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key for Poetry. <laughs> Mallory Chabre, Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key, three honorable mentions for fiction and poetry, Smith Poetry Prize finalist, and Brave New Voices Connecticut Slam team member. Grade 12, Hillstead Fresh Voices winner, Scholastic Art and Writing Award, Silver Key for Short Story. <laughs> Congratulations, students. With Alicia Daigle, Alicia Dillman, Andrew Foreman, Erin Gagno, Madeline Hearns, Joyce Hildy, Hida, excuse me, Carolyn Jeffers, George Jansen, and Kylie Carney, please come forward. Alicia Daigle, Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Honorable Mention, Poetry. <laughs> Alicia Dillman, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Honorable Mention, Short Story, and the Portfolio Award for Independent Writing and Creative Writing. <laughs> Andrew Foreman, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Honorable Mention, Poetry. Aaron Gagno, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Two Silver Keys, Honorable Mention, Short Story and Poetry, Hartford Stage Write On Contest winner, Aricia Science Fiction Writing Contest, Honorable Mention, Poetry Out Loud State Finalist, Top Five, and a Portfolio Award winner for Creative Writing in the Independent <laughs> Grade 10, Scholastic Arts and Writing Awards, Honorable Mention, Poetry. <laughs> Joyce Hida, Grade 10, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key Poetry. Student, uh, Connecticut Student Writer, Honorable Mention. Eugene O'Neill Playwriting Contest Semifinalist, Hartford Stage Project Transform winner. Carolyn Jeffers, Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key, two honorable mentions, Memoir and Drama, Eugene O'Neill, Playwriting Contest finalist, Connecticut Student Writer, Published. <laughs> George Jansen, Grade 10, Scholastic Arts and Writing Awards, Gold Key, Short Story. Kylie Carney, Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Three Silver Keys, Three Honorable Mentions, Poetry, Fiction, Nancy Thorpe Poetry Contest, Honorable Mention, Connecticut Student Writer, Honorable Mention, Brave New Voices, Connecticut Slam Team Finalist. Congratulations, students. Students, come forward, please. Brianna Lasky, Courtney Lavalley, Marilyn Lowell, 
Matthew Maguda, Zachary Maloof, Benjamin Nutt, Alexandra Ose, Deanna Pellegrino, Kaylee Perkins, Brian Pacheco, Cassandra Schambach. Brianna Lasky, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Gold Key, Two Honorable Mentions, Poetry. <laughs> Courtney Labali, Grade 12, Hillstead Fresh Voices Finalist. <laughs> Marilyn Lowell, Grade 11, Connecticut Slam Team alter Alternate, Rockville Slam Competition Winner. Matthew Maguda, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Two Gold Keys, Honorable Mention, Poetry, Flash Fiction, Connecticut Student Writer, Honorable Mention, Flash Fiction, and a winner of the Portfolio Award for Creative Writing in the Independent Writing Award. <laughs> Zachary Maloof, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, National Silver Medal for Critical Essay, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Gold Key, Two Silver Keys, Critical Essay and Humor, and a Portfolio Award for Creative Writing, the Independent Writing Award. <laughs> Benjamin Nutt, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key, and Honorable Mention. Alexandra Oates, Grade 10, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key, Honorable Mention, first place in the Edith Wharton Writing Competition. <laughs> Deanna Pellegrino, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, National Silver Medalist for Flash Fiction, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Gold Key, Four Silver Keys, Honorable Mention, Flash Fiction, Writing Portfolio, Poetry and Screenplay, and Connecticut Student Writer Published, and a winner of the Portfolio Award for Independent Writing in Creative Writing. <laughs> Kaylee Perkins, Grade 9, Hillstead Fresh Voices winner, and Connecticut Slam Team finalist. Ryan Pacheco, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Honorable Mention, Poetry. <laughs> Cassandra Schombeck, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Two Silver Keys, Three Honorable Mentions, Writing Portfolio, Poetry, Dramatic Script, and Connecticut Student Writer, Published and Honorable Mention. The following students please come forward, Winona Sheff, Trevor Siders, Keith Simmons, Melissa Smajevic, Caitlin Tonkin, Vivian Yufangine, Lily, Lily Bartanian, Samantha Westwood, and Kenny Zhang. Winona Sheff in Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Gold Key, Silver Key, Honorable Mention for Fiction and Poetry. Connecticut Student Writer, Honorable Mention, Hartford Stage Project Transform winner, Rockville Slam Competition runner-up, and selected to attend the New England Young Writers Conference at Middlebury College. <laughs> Trevor Siders, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key, Honorable Mention, Poetry, Flash Fiction, and a Portfolio Award for Creative Writing and Independent Writing. Keith Simmons, Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key for Short Story. <laughs> Melissa Smajevic, Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Honorable Mention, Connecticut Student Writer, two Honorable Mentions. <laughs> Caitlin Tonkin, Grade 10, Connecticut Student Writer, Honorable Mention for Poetry. Jean, grade 11, Trinity Rep Playwriting Competition winner. <laughs> Lily Vartanian, Grade 11, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Silver Key, three honorable mentions for fiction and poetry. <laughs> Samantha Westwood, Grade 11, Hartford Stage Write-On Playwriting Contest winner. 
Edith Wharton, Writing Competition Second Place Senior Division for Poetry, and published in Jet Fuel Review Poetry. Grade 12, Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, Honorable Mention, Flash Fiction. Congratulations, students. Mrs. Fisher, would you join us again, please? Thank you. We have four more young writers. With Callie Mavell, Abigail Bajorek, Kylie Wallach, and Olivia Crowley, please come forward. These four students were recognized in the 27th issue of the Connecticut Student Writers Magazine. This is a, an incredible honor. I'm sure Mrs. Nordland is looking at them, waiting for them to grow another four or five years and, and come into her classes. So congratulations. They're all in grade five, all from Center Road School. Callie Mavell, Abigail Bajorek, Kylie Kualik, and Olivia Crowley. Additionally, we have a certificate for someone who uh, makes this happen throughout the district, but especially at Rockville High School. The other day, I met uh, a man named uh, Jason Portmash, who I've known for a little over 20 years, and it was a happenstance uh, meeting. And he runs the Writing Center at the University of Connecticut, and he was here to speak with Ms. Nordland and Mr. Rocket about starting a writing center right here at the high school, and I, I think that's going to happen, so we're very, very excited about that. Um, in the meantime, he, of course, asked me uh, if I knew about Ms. Nordland's uh, work, and I said, of course I do. And he said, we wanted to give a special award um, to the mentors of our young writers, um, because that's really what we are. We, we can't change the writing, we can only mentor and facilitate that writing. And so they first looked at how many of the mentors, the teachers across the state of Connecticut, had uh, at least two students consistently uh, in the writing magazine for the state of Connecticut, the Connecticut Young, young Writers, uh, Student Writers Magazine. And they found quite a few. So they moved that up to about four, and they still found quite a few, and they moved it up further, and they moved it up further, and they got to nine, and there was a person in the state who actually consistently had nine people in this magazine, nine students, so you know that program is absolutely incredible. However, he then continued to look and Ms. Nordland consistently has never had less than 14 students in this magazine published every single year. And we are so proud of her and the program and our students. So Ms. Nordland, would you please come up and get her? to honor in some way our, um, our graduates from our Rockville Regional Agric Agricultural Science and Technology uh, Education Program. So we have invited those seniors. Some of them are, live in Rockville, Vernon. Some of them live in other towns, uh, Summers, East Windsor, South Windsor, all over, and come here for their four years of high school and receive an absolutely incredible education both in this building and in the BOAG building. Uh, it's, it's an in incredible opportunity for our students to learn about leadership, to run a small business, to do independent projects. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal program. If you haven't looked into it, please do. Would the following students please come forward? These are our graduates from our Rockville Regional Agricultural Science and Technology Education uh, Program. Paul Andrelot, Shelley, Shelby Barnes, Michelle Barrett, Cassandra Chaparras, Lauren Contreras, Catherine Davis, Samantha Fazzino, Cody Ferguson, Emma Flavel, Katrina Frazier, James Lamoureux, Miriam Luganbuehl, Robin Morell, Jordan Wimet, and Kaylee Zampino.
Board of Education doesn't get an opportunity very often to uh, look at this just this group of students and to congratulate them. And we know they're in a very special program and they work very, very hard and do different things. All of our students would work very, very hard. But they get to do some, some pretty interesting and different things um, that you would be amazed at. So if you see them out in the lobby, please ask them what they're doing. Congratulations, please, students. Once again, the board, on behalf of the board, we congratulate all the students on their accomplishments, all the parents on their accomplishments. Um, obviously, uh, it takes everybody together to get your students to where they are right now. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors, students. We expect great things once you accomplish it, but you need to keep going. Uh, to our seniors, uh, we wish you the best of all next year when you enter college or the work world. And, uh, and we're very, very happy for your success. Uh, there are refreshments in the, uh, in the lobby. There's punch and cookies, and so we would ask that you repair to the lobby, and if you want pictures, there's flowers right here so you can take a picture. If you want to come down, do that. And the board would like to congratulate you in the lobby. So thank you.